Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about drilling process. So, let's look at the example first. Drilling process. Drilling operation is used to drill a hole. It takes 15 seconds to finish the process. A push button is used to start the process by pressing and releasing it. Then, again by pressing and releasing the button, we finish the process by activating a fan for 5 seconds to clean the drilling clicks. So, we will use some normally open contacts and some normally closed contacts. We will also use some memory bits to store the data. And also, we will be using timers. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for drilling process. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASC II 
TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMS 2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. Then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to it as M0. And then we will add it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact. And I will connect it like this. And I will assign address for this normally open contact, same as that memory width, that is M0. So I will also add symbol to this normally open contact as button. Yes. So when push button is pressed, M0 will turn on, and when it is released, M0 still remains on. And then I will add a new rank and I will insert a normally open contact. Assign address to it as M0. And then I will insert one normally closed contact. And I will assign address to it as I0.0, which is a push button. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to it as I, sorry, M1, which is another memory bit. So when M0 is true and push button is released, that is push button is off, then M1 will be true. And then we will add it here. So I will assign address to it as M1. And then I will click on this option. And then I will connect it like this. Let's assign address to it as M1. So, when M0 is true and push button is released, M1 stores this data and gets true. And we will use this M1 to turn on carry on the drilling process. So, I will add a new rung here and insert a normally open contact. And I will assign address to it as M1. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to it as Zero point zero. I will also add symbol to it as really. Yes. So when push button is turned on, when push button is pressed, M zero will be true, and when it is released, M zero is true. So M zero is true. And push button is released, and that is, it is I0.0 is false. So the current will flow through it, and M1 gets true. And M1 still remains true if the states of these inputs change. So M1 is storing the data that push button was once pressed. The pressed is uh, uh, stored by this memory bit and released shows this, this push button and 
these two types of data are stored by this M1. So we use this M1 that push button was pressed and released first time to turn on the drilling process to start the drilling process and it should be activated for 15 seconds. So for this we will use a functional block timer for drilling process and it should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 50 and then I will click on apply. So drilling process will start and M1 gets true, M1 gets true when M0 is released and M1 is M0 is on but M0 gets on when it is pressed. So when it is pressed and released, drilling process will start and it will process for 15 seconds and after that it will stop. And then we will press the push button again and release it. So for this, we will add a new rung here and I will insert a normally open rung. I will assign address to it as M1, which is storing the data that the push button was once pressed and released. And then I will insert one more normally open rung. And I will assign address to it as I0.0. Which is a push button. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M2. And then I will add it here and I will connect it like this. I will add symbol, I will add address to this as M2. So when M1 gets through, M1 gets through when the push button is once pressed and released. So when M1 is true and the push button is again pressed, then M1 becomes true and it remains true even when these states will change. And then I will add a new rung here. So the fan should turn on when the push button is pressed and released for the second time. So this is the ladder diagram for press. On pressing, M2 will get activated. And now we will draw a ladder diagram for the release. So I will insert a normally open contact for M2. And then I will insert a normally closed contact for push button. That is, push button should be released. Push button should be in false state. That is I 0.0. .0. I will also add insert a coil here. And I will assign address to it as M3. And then I will add it here. That is, I will connect it like this. Then I will assign address to it as M3, which will result in M3 will remain on if the inputs, if the states of inputs will change. And then we will use this M3 to turn on the fan. So we will add one more rank here. And I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So I will assign address to it as M3 and then I will add address to this coil as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as fan that will blow away the dust and then yes. So this fan should get it for 5 seconds only. For that I will use a functional block timer for fan and that will be TP that will turn on fan for a period of time. So it should be turned on for 5 seconds. So I will set it as 5. 
applied. So the fan will be activated for 5 seconds only. So when push button is pressed and then released, M0 gets on and when M0 gets on and push button is released, then M1 will be on. M1 will be true. So when M1 will be true, this memory bit is storing data that the push button was once pressed and then released. It is important to note that the push button is then released. This, the push button is in false state. Then only M1 becomes true. So when M1 becomes true, that is, the condition is met that the push button was once pressed and then released. And then only drilling process will start. And it will stop after 15 seconds. So drilling will be done for 15 seconds only. And after that, it will stop. And then, when M0 is true, that is, the push button was once pressed and then released. And then, when push button is second time pressed, then M2 stores that data. That is, push button was at once pressed and released, and then it was second time pressed. And M2 gets true. And when M2 gets to true, that's it stores the data that the push button was once pressed and released and now it is only pressed and then the push button is released that is push button is in false state now that is the push button is second time released and then only m3 gets true so this m3 is storing the data that the push button was two times pressed and then released and which in turn turns on the fan and the fan will be activated for 5 seconds. The fan will blow away the dust from there. So I will exit full screen mode and I will compile the program and I will go to commissioning a law simulate. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So I will go to programming and click on full screen. So, when push button is pressed, M0 gets true, and when it is released, M1 gets true, and when M1 gets true, M1 gets through, the drilling process will start and it will, there will be drilling for 15 seconds. And after that, it will stop. So, after 15 seconds, the drilling process has stopped. So, so M1 is still true. That is, it, it is storing the data that the push button was once pressed and released. And after that, when push button is again pressed, then M2 gets true. And when M2 gets true, and the push button is released, then the M3 gets true, which in turn turn on the fan. And the fan will be activated for 5 seconds only. And after that, it will stop. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.